in this video I would like to talk about for loops in ClickSense. As in any other programming language, you can iterate through a series of commands using a for loop. In ClickSense, this is especially useful to either load a series of tables or store a series of tables. One possibility to do so is by the for next loop syntax. The loop begins with the keyword for. This is followed by the index variable that runs through the loop. That is the variable that takes a different value in each step of the loop. Counter here is not a keyword, but a variable name that can be chosen freely. Then we state from which to which value the loop should run. In the body of the loop, we can execute a number of commands. For example, we can load a table in each step of the loop. The value of the index variable can be accessed by the dollar sign notation. At the end of the loop construct, we need the keyword next to tell ClickSense that the current cycle of the loop is complete. The loop's body will run all over with the next value of the index variable as long as its final value is reached. Let's have a look at the code example. I already loaded a table called Tesla stock into storage. The table looks like that. So in each row we have the date, the year, the open value, high value, low value and closing value and the trading volume of that day. The table runs from 2010 to 2017. What we'd like to do now is to store a separate table for each year of the stock. So I begin by writing for and then I need the index variable. In this case, we call it year index. And we say that it should run from 2010 to 2017. And in the body of the loop, loop um, we would like to load um, the Tesla stock table via a resident statement, but not the whole table, but just um, the part where the year, where the variable year is equal to my index variable, which I access by the dollar sign index um, year index. Okay, and I would like to call this temporary table temp. And I don't want that my temporary table gets concatenated in the load um, together with my Tesla stock table. That's why I write no concatenate in front. And after I have loaded this temporary table, I would like to store it into a folder, which is called lib column um, data, and then I call it Tesla, and then the year, um, which is year index. So again, here I use the index variable um, year index dot CSV. We would, like, we would like to create a CSV file, which is a text format. So the table will be called Tesla and then 2010, for example, dot CSV. Okay, after I start the table, I can actually drop it. So I say drop table temp and at the end I need the next um, keyword. See that we have indented the um, body of the for loop which is just good practice. Let's try and run this. Okay, it runs without an error. So now we can have a look at this folder. 
oh actually I didn't need the uh, quotation marks here let's try that again and let's have a look at the folder where we stored the tables and voila we can see here Tesla 2010 to Tesla 2017 and we can check one table just to make sure that it's got the right content and we see here okay it stores just the part of the table where the year is 2012 so exactly what we wanted okay that's it for this video if you like this kind of content please consider liking the video or subscribe the channel uh, because that would really motivate us making more of these videos see you next time mm -hmm.